Radney Foster's Not In My House has a very compelling story about its inception. I love the message behind this tune. As my good friend Mr. Foster points out, we should all pay attention to how much we can hurt others with our words. That song was really inspired by a conversation with my daughter. She came home from school, she's 11 years old, you know, and she's in just starting middle school in fifth grade, and came home and asked me what a word meant, and I was kind of shocked to hear it out of her mouth, and I said, where did you hear that? And she said, well, some of the girls used it at school, and I didn't know what it meant, but it sounded bad to me. And I said, well, you know, it's about a woman's sexuality, hon, and it's, there's nothing good about it. It's just to make somebody feel small or feel bad. It's not really something you should use. It just ate at me, and I, I remember I put the kids to bed, and my wife went to sleep early, and I, you know, poured myself a bourbon on the rocks, and I walked out in that backyard and, you know, was just praying to God, and I just cried like a baby, you know, and I just thought, I don't want that in my house. And, uh, and I just, the loss of innocence for her. So I was going to write uh, the next day with Alan Shamblin, and I called him up. I said, man, I don't know what you have in mind to write about, but I hope you like this idea. And he said, absolutely, I'll write that with you. And we just took it to the next level about talking about, you know, hate speech and that there's nothing good about it. I don't care who it's about. You know, I don't want that in my house. And, and always, I've always considered that when I'm playing on stage, um, that's my house for that night. You know, it might be somebody else's house tomorrow night. When I'm on stage, as long as I'm on stage, that's my house. So we kind of took that point of view too. So it's, you know, not in my house. I don't want that in my house. Not in my 